Hello everyone, I'm John Adams with ReflectedPixel.com and it's December, that festive time of year when everyone decorates their house and Christmas trees with beautiful lights. So let's take just a minute to look at a couple of techniques you can do to get the most out of these great lights that surround us. Okay, you're going to want to set your camera up on a good solid tripod for this because we're going to go for the starburst effect. And the way to do that with any light source is turn up the f-stop. So we're going to turn this f-stop up anywhere above 11, but 16, 20, right in there you can see we're up to 2 second exposure at ISO 200. And this is a good solid tripod, so you don't have to worry about anything shaking. So let's zoom in a bit on these. And you can see, and every lens is different at exactly how it's going to make this look. But this lens is a nice, even starburst. Check that out. The other thing we've got going on here is I've programmed in an underexposure. The camera's going to want to try and make this tree look like it's daylight. So let's try that and see what happens. See how long that exposure is? But daylight isn't always the mood we're going for. Normally you see nighttime. So if you go down to two and a half stops, which is where we were before, it looks like a nighttime holiday shot with nice twinkling starburst lights. And then the other option is to go all the way the other way. Open that lens all the way up, find a focal point, Probably make it just a touch brighter. And you get that nice blur to the background lights as they fade out into the distance. So they're sharper up here and they fade back out. Now every lens again makes a different shape and look of bokeh. So get your cameras, get your tripods and your warm hats. Go outside and take some pictures of these beautiful lights. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.